Yo what's going on guys, Bruce Lee here and today I'm going to show you how to remove a broken bolt using a stud extractor set. When a bolt breaks it can be the most daunting thing in the world and you don't know what to do next but for the most part there's always a way. Whether it be drill it out and tap a new thread, drill it out and helic oil. But first I'm going to quickly show you some other uses for the stud extractor. So the extractor can be used for removing rounded off allen head bolts. As you can see, the stud extractor has got spline teeth on them which taper in the opposite direction. So basically, as you turn to undo said bolt, the teeth grip into it and basically drag the bolt out. And these are very useful tools that get you out of trouble a lot. To release the extractor from whichever bolt you've uh, taken it off with, just put it in a vise and twist it back the opposite way as though you're doing it up and it will come out. Another use is broken air pipes. Now these tend to break due to vibration and they just become brittle over time. Things like this can become very corroded and be quite difficult to get out. There's a number of ways of getting these sort of things out but using these extractors is definitely one of them. Nice and quick, nice and simple. Now for the main part of the video, tools you'll need for this job. A drill, an extractor set of course, a punch, hammer, a ratchet and socket, spanner set, WD-40 or any penetrating fluid, and some drill bits. First thing you need to do is punch a center into the broken bolt. Now this gives you a nice central place to start drilling. Start with a small drill bit as a pilot hole. And slowly work your way up. Be sure to use plenty of WD-40. Not only does this help the stud come out later, but it will also keep it cool. If it gets too hot, it will become work hard and can be very difficult to keep drilling into it afterwards. If you slowly increase the size of the drill bits you're using, the hole will gradually get bigger very easily. Which saves a lot of drilling time, because if you start with the big one immediately, you can be there for hours and make it very hot and very hard. Now using the trusty extractor set, select the size you need. The bigger the better, but obviously within reason, because you don't want to be drilling out too much because the smaller ones can break if it's too tight. But lucky enough, this one comes out pretty easily and that may be down to the amount of WD-40 we used because as you can see, it's actually worked its way all the way down the thread, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. And lastly, always clean the area of WD-40 and swarf after you finish working because that's the last thing you want floating around anywhere you're working to be honest. And for those of you wondering, yes this is a bus engine because I do work for London Transport. I thought I'd make this video because not only a novice can do this but 
I come across a lot of people in the industry that have never actually seen this set before so I figured it's a good thing to know that it exists and uh, how simple it is to use and it definitely gets me out of a lot of trouble <laughs> I've used them a lot so I refer to this as a male version of the set I've got a female version of the set as well which as opposed to setting the tool into the thread and extracting it the female version will go on the outside so essentially a rounded or a rusted bolt head works in a similar manner and it's got spline teeth that grip into it the opposite way so as you undo it it will grip and pull it out and I'll make another video on how to use those so I hope you found this video helpful and this will get you out of trouble at some point be sure to hit that subscribe button for more useful tips and tricks in the future and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below thanks a lot for watching peace out